I want you guys to know that I intentionally called on Kelly because she got question number one wrong. So after hearing other people, after discussing with her partner, I wanted to give her an opportunity to, to, to share and own her mistake and say, like, she didn't have to say, I got question number one wrong. She could have just said, a mistake that someone could have made is this, um, where she's owning her mistake and kind of making that, that knowledge stick in a different way than just, like, I got it wrong and move on. Before I had exit ticket, the way this would be debriefed is like, the answer number one is Celeste Hoffbauer, and she would tell me what it is and why, and we'd be like, cool. Anyone have a question? And we'd move on to the number two. What's the answer number two? Why? Um, and then we'd move on. Um, but with exit ticket and the data, we can have discussions around what mistake do you think people made. Um, I would have actually flashed the reteach after you guys said what mistake would have been made, flash the reteach and, and and say like, see, that is the mistake that people make. And then also just going that next step further in, in critical thinking, how can we change this question such that a different answer choice is actually the correct one? With, with exit ticket, you can now be a little bit more intentional about when you're choosing to go over things and when not. We have two objectives as students. Objective number one, I can independently determine my areas of weakness and use technology to support my growth in factoring quadratics. Your diagnostic that you just took, this is, um, the, part, the data that you will be using to determine your areas of weakness, okay? Objective number two is I can push myself to become a master at factoring. We are hitting pause today on learning new material because I want to make sure that we get as good at this as possible before we move on. There's a lot of little places to make mistakes. A lot of little places, and we're all making mistakes in different spots. Um, and so we want to make sure that we can hone in on those mistakes we have I want you guys to know what my objective is for today. I will be using this time to teach students in small groups things that they need. So some of you don't need my help. Others might need a little bit of extra one-on-one -on -one help with me. Um, please remember that this is, I am not the sole provider of information. There's enough information out there amongst your peers uh, in order to support your growth. You do not need answers from me. The person sitting next to you probably does have the answer. But some people need a little extra work with me, and I'm going to use this time for that. Our goal is in the last 15 minutes, I'm going to hand back your quiz that you took yesterday. Um, and you're going to be able to fix your own mistakes because now you spend all this time improving and you'll know how to fix your own mistakes. Quick reminder of our expectations during workshops. Um, expectation number one is that you work independently as much as you can. Remember, this is your knowledge, this is your growth. It, on the test, you will not be able to do a problem with the person sitting next to you and use their brain. You need to be using your brain. Um, number two is you will use coaching voices when you're asking a peer your ASI is for support. So yes, there will come a time when you need a question answered. Make sure you're using coaching voices when you're asking that specific question. And last but not least, respect and support your peers. We are all trying to grow here. We're all trying to move up. Um, some of us are starting in different places than others. So just remember to respect your peers and support them as much as you can. In column number one, this is day one. If you got questions number one or two wrong, that is a GCF problem you will be using these resources to improve. If you got questions three, four, five, or six wrong, that simple factoring will be using these Khan Academy resources to improve. Seven, eight, and nine is complex factoring that we use that. Tomorrow we'll deal here, but if you got a 75% or higher on these sections and the ones that you did make a mistake on, you know what your mistake is and you feel like, I know it, I'm ready to move on then you can move on to the next task, which is adding and subtracting rational polynomials. I have not taught you this. Use your resources, use the internet in order to access that. Yeah. At this time, I would be sitting at, like, say this, um, and, like, pulling students. Um, I would maybe have, like, three or four students that I pulled based on the data, and then I'd be working one-on-one -on -one with them. You know, if you have any questions, those resources are there for you.